What's up Reef Fanatics? Welcome back to the Coral Reef Talk. Today I have updates for you on the aquarium in a jar as well as the 210 gallon reef. Some are really good and some are, well, they're not. Okay, so for the past six months, I've been doing a different job working for a different company other than my YouTube career. What are you talking about? You do other things besides YouTube? Yes, I do work a full-time job somewhere else. So this new schedule has affected the way that I have been maintaining the tanks because now I had to come up with a new maintenance schedule for the tanks. So this affected the care of the tanks and it's also affected the production of videos for the channel. Now don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. I promise I'm still going to make videos. It's not like I've just been laying around. Okay, okay, maybe I have been just a little bit, but that's besides the point. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's been going on with the reef tanks, starting with the 210 gallon reef. Okay, so where do I begin? Well, death in the reef aquarium happens to us all. And over the past few months, I've been losing some of my prized corals. I've lost brain corals, lobophilias, duncans, zoanthids, and now my chalice coral is starting to go. At first, I thought maybe it could recover because it didn't have any dead spots. The zoanthelae had just began to leave the coral and it was turning white. You could still see some color in the eyes of the chalice, and even though the coral turns white, it isn't dead until the zoanthellae and flesh are gone and the skeleton is fully exposed and visible. And then, once that happens, unwanted algae starts to form. So what happened? One day I unplugged my dosing pumps, well, I thought I unplugged them, and apparently I would left only the alkalinity doser plugged in. And for weeks the tank was receiving doses of alkalinity and it was not being balanced out by calcium. My magnesium levels were low and my testing schedule was nowhere to be found, at least not as much as I usually do, and my water change schedule was completely out of whack. Now the lack of water changes and the lack of testing the tank and leaving the alkalinity doser on has all resulted into where I'm at today with the reef tank. Now things are starting to get a little bit better, but I've kind of been devastated at the hit the chalice coral has taken from this. Chalice coral has been one of the fastest growing pieces in, in the tank and it's always been looking great. So let me know what I should do. Should I let this piece kind of heal and see if it retakes and grows over the dead spots or should I just frag that part out, cutting out a giant chunk of the chalice coral and hoping that those pieces recover and then grow back again. Let me know in the comment section below. But what has been really cool is to see the toadstool leather coral kind of transfer from the large rock it started on to the smaller rock right next to it uh, because it's being driven out by that anemone. It didn't like that anemone being there, so it's kind of moving over. So that's been really cool to watch. Now it moves really slow, but it's been really cool. Now something good that's been going on in the tank is the Monipora caps are growing really well. Now, despite the swing in the parameters and the lack of testing, they're actually doing really well. And I couldn't be more happier. As you remember in a previous video, the Monopora cap that I had purchased was starting to bleach out and die. And I added Zozantheli from Algogen to the tank and that helped revive it and get it going again. And now it has been strong enough to continue to grow and grow out really nice. Now, things with the Reef Aquarium in a Jar have been going just great. Everything is growing pretty fast and some things are overtaking other things so that could be a bad thing depending on who you ask. But what I'm doing with this tank is just letting things grow out and see how everything pans out. So let's take a look inside the Aquarium in a Jar.
Thank you so much for checking out this video, guys. If you'd like to see the videos that I talked about earlier in this episode, you can click up here for the chalice coral video and see how much it's grown um, over the time that I've had it up until this point. And you can check out the video about the zooxanthellae from Algogen right over here. And if you're not a part of this thing already, please click the subscribe button right over here. And we'll see you next time on the Coral Reef Talk.